That's not maybe enough, but. Are you serious? I, I, <laughs> why does it give me Cabal Shadow Priest? That's the last thing I want. Hey, buddy, watch this. This is a Reno Mage. So I was saying, um, oh yes, numerically it's fine. You, if if that does end up happening and I lose that sort of base income, we I may do more things to like encourage subs a little bit or like not like just like begging for subs, but like more bonuses for subs, like more stuff to like, you know, we'll do like deck reviews and maybe like replay reviews and stuff if you have those and um definitely more like garbage deck challenge so some of the more like sub or or mon monetary driven content i won't like charge for it or anything like that you know but like just try to do a few things that encourage subs more than i do now like we already do giveaways and stuff a little bit but you may just see some small shifts but it won't be like sellout mode or anything because again numerically it's okay i don't even know may not even notice at all you may not even notice. Bathwater, that may happen if we get desperate, you know, someday. Someday. No, we don't need Patreon or anything. Louis, like I'm saying, guys, it's... I, I Nobody's going to starve to death. I'll be fine. It's just... It depends, you know, month to month and just... Maybe creating a slight more culture of, like, subscriber benefits and stuff. In case I need to rely on that. It's more about, like... It's not about, like, you know, nobody... Like I said, nobody's starving to death. It would just be more about, like... I like having savings and you know being uh future proofed a little bit and stuff so ooh rabble bouncer let's go let's go man um rabble bouncer doomsayer is not possible i think we might still just ping this turn cuz the the stupid uh, idiot here is worth a lot of pressure i imagine we're going to see a lot of minions eventually for this rabble bouncer to connect we got, like, Coin Blizzard incoming soonish, too. Oh, yeah. There we go. Give me the lackeys. Give me the cheap boys. Cheap, low-health boys are what I need right now. I think we'll probably Doomsayer this, too. If nothing else, for a heal. I mean, actually, Frost Nova Doomsayer is a possibility, too, I guess. We could Frost Nova Doomsayer into the Sandwich. Oh, I might have to. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Yeah, I think it's Frost Nova Doomsayer time. We lose the ice barrier mana if we do sandwich the turn after, so we'll have to think about that, but. Hoping this lives, man. I think it should. So maybe we um, just like sandbinder instead. No, sandwich takes better trades. I hate the ice barrier loss though. But, but the thing is, right, like we get a cheaper blizzard, so we'll make up the mana. I wish this was a flame strike instead, though. I'll tell you that. I wish this was a flame strike. This deck does run Malacrass, too, so we need to keep in mind that. If I create an Amazon Twitch account and use my dad's Prime sub on my new account, will I get $5 every month? Um, you won't get the $5. I would get a, a little bonus, sure. Like, if you if you use your Twitch Prime here, I don't want to presume, but... Uh, all right. This is good. This was a better minion to play, right? Because I get the secret now, which is nice. And I don't lose the cheap ice barrier. And we really stalled him out here, it looks like. Goodness gracious. He doesn't even have anything. To, he starts the turn with a tap after passing a turn? What is in hand? What is this man sitting on right now? We've just crushed his momentum. Goodness. So does this only hit Mountain Giant? What are the other elementals in this package? Oh, Siamon. Okay. Siamon. Makes sense. Don't kill this. Don't you kill this. Good. It's going to live. Nice. Just take the trade. That's actually the exact perfect rolls for us. Um, ooh, Zilliax, though, is also intriguing. Yeah, I don't think we, we don't, I don't think we Zilliax this turn, right? Because we don't need to, because these have Divine Shield, they're kind of annoying. Okay. Soon we're probably going to have, like, a Rabble Bouncer Zilliax turn that feels great. This Flame Ward is, is honestly pretty bad, isn't it? Shoot. I didn't realize we have a Flame Ward up still. It's a pretty bad Flame Ward. He did it the right way, too, sadly. Um, so this is going to live to attack again, unfortunately. Uh, it also pulls Zephyrus. Oh, Zephyrus, too. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great news. Zephyrus is awesome, then. Sandbinders makes a ton of, ton of sense. Elemental uh, synergies still matter, guys. They still matter. I hate the sandwich card, and it always makes me hungry. I bought sandwich stuff yesterday. What about more rewards for higher tier subs? Um, we might do that, too. 
I don't know. Like I said, let's just wait and see, guys. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I'd rather have sponsors drive stuff. So I, I'm going to reach out to sponsors if that happens, like try to get more sponsors and stuff. So I don't want to like advertise any of that in case it doesn't happen. But it's just, I may have to think about that stuff more. Right now, I don't really have to think about it. Almost no decisions I make on stream are driven by like revenue concerns. Because I have a baseline foundational income that, that with streaming makes it so I don't have to worry about it, right? But that may change, right? Basically, if you take away that baseline, the vari the variance in streaming makes me a little more nervous because there's a lot of variance. So it just we'll see, but don't worry about it right now. It's not a thing that we got to think about today. May not even happen. Yeah, this is a bit of a pickle turn. Just nothing super exciting happening here. I think we might honestly just sandbinder and like ping. I wish we could Sandbinder and Rabble Bouncer. That would feel... Maybe we'll just Rabble Bouncer ping, actually. This is better, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the best play, but it's just a disruption. It's just a stall. But we have a good hand, right? Seamot's awesome. Um, Zilliax is awesome. Blizzard's awesome. <laughs> Take that out of account. Clip that guy. Send it to Blizzard for me, please. <laughs> uh, I keep thinking you're saying sandwich instead of sandwich. I'm super hungry. Yeah, Naga sandwich. A nice fish sandwich from McDonald's. <laughs> That's basically what, what it is, right? <laughs> um, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, by the way. Still, still a lot of competition out there in the streaming world. And I didn't send out a YouTube notification today. So to get 350 plus viewers with no YouTube notification is actually pretty impressive. It's really nice. I think we'd be at like 450 bad YouTube. But I didn't want to crowd out my YouTube videos today. so That's why we don't, in case you're wondering. In case you're wondering why we don't. Alright, I think we gotta do this for now. The 8-8's a little frightening. I don't have good answers to it. Not hitting Lunas yet has really hurt us. Flamestrike Ping would answer this next turn. Reno could potentially answer this. Um... What else do we have? We have a lot of dead draws. I mean, Frostbolt would be fine. If nothing else, we could just Zilliax and try to chip it down. Our opponent is taking a sweet time. I'll say that. Taking a sweet time here. Is YouTube the reason you don't listen to music on stream? It's one of the reasons, but honestly, I as a content creator, it get a little weird with um, rights to stuff. I... I don't mind like using things in small snippets like just as a complimentary thing which is probably morally contradictory because it's still I don't have the rights even when I use like for instance yesterday I used a Jurassic Park intro like I don't have rights to Jurassic Park I shouldn't I shouldn't really be using that stuff but it was like short so I don't feel Got bad about it points with it's my like girl from that Starburst morally I don't flower. thanks haha -ha. no way dude did you really make a Starburst flower no way, I don't have one anymore. Put it up. Oh my god, no way, Sean, dude. Thanks for the thousand bits, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, thank you, thank you. So anyway, I, I don't... If, if, like, the whole stream I was just using tons of music, I feel like it would be somehow morally less acceptable. Like, it's... It would be more about the music, I guess, and less... This is 8, 10, 11. So I can always ping off whatever I need here. Okay, this is actually really good then. So I guess I would be a little bit more morally distraught if I just played music the whole time. That animation is so good, by the way. So good. We actually just leave that up? No, nah, let's still think. We gotta get through it eventually. But, regardless, YouTube is a part of it, and, um... And, uh, my kind of moral trepidations are the other part of it. And then thirdly, I really don't like music that much. Like, th that sounds stupid to say. I obviously like music. Like, I love 80s music. Like, any kind of good 80s pop song comes on and I'm, like, jamming, right? But I don't listen to music as a hobby, I should say. Like, you won't find me just, like, listening to music in my downtime. So, I'm not, like, musically oriented. Obviously, I enjoy music. It's ridiculous to say otherwise. But... Uh, I, it's not like something I, I make an active hobby, so, like, I don't have favorite bands, I don't buy albums, I don't listen to albums. Music to me is more, like, background than sort of, um, the primary form of entertainment, I guess. That's, that's kind of my thought on it. Kind of my thought on it. I've got five decks. Sorry, guys. Ah! Sorry, I loaded up a YouTube video. Speaking of YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
my god. Oh, that's tough. That's big, isn't it? Um, oh man. I guess we see him out that, but it just leaves me with a lot of stuff on board still. Do we ever just see him out Wind Fury? I think we do, right? Because we don't need to see him out to be alive. Yeah, let's just see him out Wind Fury. That's better. Because we don't care if it lives. Okay, so we're at 12. He's got two on board. Zilliax certainly brings back some of that, though, which is nice. A lot of power cards in the deck right now. What would I like to draw? Maybe Zephyrus always is pretty good. I didn't pre-order the expansion. Should I start crafting or should I wait a week or so? Um, I would wait still, man. It's a little early. We don't really know what's going to happen yet. I think there's a lot of things that could change. So I would be very careful if I were you. Very careful. All right. Hey, Fire Lord, thanks, man. Energy, keep it up. Definitely trying that paladin yeah. deck after work today. Yeah, dude, that was crazy, right? What a deck! I just feel like it was a genius deck, if nothing else. Like it's just so like well planned and constructed. Like finding that was tough this early. I think pretty sweet combo to identify that quickly. Really, really crazy combo to find so fast. Like well done, man. So many possibilities. All right, we're still just kind of chugging along here. Barely hanging on. This dude's eventually going to run out of stuff. But I like that. This is the kind of deck I like to play. Like, it's really fun. Reno was great, by the way. That was clutch. This is going to be probably the first good Zilliax turn, right? Flame Strike is there too, but I think the Zilliax ping just feels good enough, right? We don't really need the Flame Strike here. We might need it later. I don't know if mechs or murlocs are more threatening, but I think mechs are technically, because even though there's Snip Snap gone, there might technically be Zilliax. Maybe pretty unlikely in a Zoo deck, but you never know what people will toss in. Uh, is your real name Regis? No. My real name is Thomas. That's why I use Thomas the Tank Engine for my sub train. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or is it really Thomas? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this game just changed. He's still running Rafam. Respect, man. Respect, dude. So Zilly's alive. Puzzle box. I don't know if I can risk that right now. I think power creation's probably better. We've got this mountain giant that's not bad either. Um, I'm pretty worried about dying if I just leave up the Rafam. I think I kind of like Mountain Giant into Sandbinder, though. It's going to hit the Zephyrus, which can give me a Twisting Nether next turn if I need it. Yeah, let's just do that. I think we'll be okay. Pretty high likelihood this doesn't die to, like, damage because he's got all minions. So I think that means um, he's got to attack into it at the very least, which means I probably go up to 14, which feels like enough. Plus, I can Zephyr Twisting Nether. I can maybe just trade the 8-8. I can Flame Strike if that lines up, right? Flame Strike Ping, for instance, might kill the Rafam after he trades here. He goes to 5, so... There are a handful of different reasons this works out. Plus, we're just kind of representing lethal soon. Puzzle Box is lethal, right? <laughs> um, Goblin loves Thomas, yes. I have not tried Crypt's Murloc Paladin, no. Reginald Thomas Regis Kilbin Jr. That's right. Thomas the Train Kilbin. Last name really Kilbin. Yes, Thomas Kilbin's my name. For real. Google that and see what you find. <laughs> Darius Crowley's legit good against Zilliax. That gives him a lot of space to, to hit face here if he wants. Um, yeah, that's going to hurt me a lot. I don't know how to beat that. I mean, Flame Strike here is still fine, but it doesn't answer the reform. I would love it if he traded. Please trade. Oh, going for the upgraded hero power. Wow, that was active. Nice. All unique legendaries. Okay. Not surprising, but still nice. It's lethal, but for who? <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, um, oh, is this actually enough? No. Well, it's enough to go face for eight. Does Zephyrus give me a lethal, guys? Uh, it does. Zephyrus plus Wind Fury is lethal, right? So Zephyrus should give me Wind Fury lethal here. Because we can hit... Let's let's make sure Zephyrus knows that. Right? 
Polymorph also lethal, yeah. So there's quite a few lethals here. It, it should just figure it out. Wind Fury is lethal. Polymorph is lethal. Wind Fury it is. Black Knight is barely lethal. Um, Wind Fury is fun, though, so we'll do that. I think this is the most damage. It knew, guys. It knew. It knew. Zephyrus, why are you so smart, man? Zephyrus, how are you so smart? How are you so good, Zephyrus? If your name is Thomas, why Regis? I just like the name. I like winning games. Give me the win, Hearthstone. Give me the win. Hearthstone, I believe. Hearthstone. Hearthstone, give me the win. If we whisper to it like that, all sultry, sensual, I think it will give us the win, guys. I think it will give us the win. Zephyrus is the man as you kill him from the pressure plate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he died for our cause. He didn't have a choice. Hey, Regis, I started streaming today. I was playing some wild Reno decks. Only priest and hunter today. I wish I had a way to communicate effectively. I had eight viewers, but I don't have a microphone. I'd say that's pretty impressive to get eight viewers with no microphone. That's pretty wild. You probably just need to get a mic. That will help you a lot. I think the Reno version people running is too heavy. I'm kind of feeling that a little bit right now as well, man. I think we could tighten this deck up a little bit, to be honest. I don't know what I would add right now, but just, I don't know, like Volpira Scoundrel or something, you know? Just something cheap to, like, get things moving, keep some pressure on board, get a little tempo. Do we really need Feoris and Calicos and Alex Raza and Tortolan Pilgrim and Hexlord Malacrast, for God's sake? Uh, this this list came off Aegis Replay. It was the highest win rate list, to be fair. But I think that's primarily driven by the fact that uh, we're really early in this meta. I think this will get really dialed in and be more aggressive. I think we'll see this shift quite a bit. Feoris. Feoris. Odds of hitting something here are pretty low. Um... I think we'll just wait till we do a post Lunas for that. I'm going to coin the Lunas next turn, I think. Unless I hit, like, exactly Mountain Giant. I need to get things moving, so. Lunas is so much better post Luna. Malacrass is awful. That's what I'm feeling, too, yeah. I don't know how Malacrass made the cut in the highest win rate list. I don't know why you'd need that much value right now, right? Uh, we'll see if this is Counterspell. It is not. It's probably Ice Barrier, because you might be running the same list I am. Okay. Unfortunately, hit some of our really big uh, all-stars already for Lunas, sadly, but it's fine. Is it power, you crave, it power, you crave Regis? <laughs> it is. <clears throat> um, I don't hate Luna's Frostbolt here, to be honest. We're not going to chain right now, but <clears throat> this might just live, right? Which is still worth a lot. And even just cycling one card right now is worth a lot. If this lives, though, we are in very good position. Unless we hit, like, Flame Strike off the top or something weird. But if we had a minion, we could go absolutely insane. Um, Reno's good to clear the board here, maybe. Well, maybe not now. Jeez. Goodness gracious, son. Um, we might have to just frost over that, sadly. Let's see what Messenger Raven finds us. I don't think it's anything meaningful ever, right? But we just cycle. We might get another CMOD or something that matters. Uh, yeah, let's take another Luna because, again, we can set up the scenario in a future turn, right? Rabble Bouncer's fine, sure. We're definitely Frost Snowbing, right? Mm, I don't know if we Doomsayer, though, because once I do Frost Nova, we might just be able to resolve the board pretty nicely. Although, I don't know, man. I like cycling cards here, too. I think we do Doomsayer. It just locks out the turn. I can I can counter with, like, some big Luna stuff again. I'm going to chain even more here. Um, yeah, let's do this. This is fine. Okay. This may not work, right? If it doesn't, that's okay, because we still just have a big board. If it does work, then we're, good. we're just all good to go. Can you play a Paladin Quest deck? Um, I don't have one slotted up today. Somebody said there's some good lists out there, but I don't, I don't have one. You guys really want to see Paladin Quest, by the way. It's so wild. Read us and play your 2500 armor deck in wild. It's hilarious, and people always try to see how much damage they can do before they concede. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know. I, it's, <laughs> it's a cruel world where that's the plan. It's an evil deck. I don't think it should exist, but um, 
What's Alex doing in this deck? Alex is a really good way to just set up a ton of damage. If you have like a board of Mountain Giant and um, like, I don't know, whatever, just random thing, right? Just some random six or seven attack thing or multiple minions. It's just a finisher. You just kill. And sometimes it's a one mana 8-8, eight, eight, which is really good too. Have you tried a Druid Quest deck with Malagos and Elise? I have one, but we haven't tried it yet. Maybe I'll play that next. I don't, I'm not super excited about it. I wanted to play some like good decks today then move more into the Mimi decks again, like tomorrow or the next day, you know. I wanted to get like a mix, and yesterday we focused pretty hard on kind of goofy decks. So, I don't think he's got an answer here. He's just trying to figure out something to do, right? So hopefully we get a nice one drop off the top, and I can Luna again. I don't really need to Luna necessarily, but oh, that's the one though. That's exactly what we're talking about here. We might just conjure as this even. Oh my god. Um, sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh my god. Behold the tool. All right. Um, do we ever do the cat like ghost? No, we still do the mountain giants, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. This is fine. And I think I'm just going to chill. I don't think I'm going to commit anything else. Oh, maybe we just play the... This is fine, actually. This draws me two cards. That's good. can play the Flame Ward. This is perfect. Okay. Now we just chill. Because he might have some kind of board clear here or something, right? He might Frost Nova Doomsayer or something. That I, I can actually just Conjurers that if I want to. Um, are you Frost on the Calicos? Why would you freeze the... What's going to happen here? We might have uh, Snap Freeze or something. I am very confused. I am just astounded here. I 100% do not understand what just happened. So I'm going to assume this gives me a um, crazed alchemist, right? Too smart for us. Yeah, I don't know. How would you nerf Conjurers? I don't really know, man. Four mana, I guess. That's not maybe enough, but it's a start. Amazing. I was told I would be given Crazed Alchemist if... Are you serious? I, I... <laughs> Why does it give me Cabal Shadow Priest? That's the last thing I want. This is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> I do not want any of these. What on earth, Zephyrus? Why don't you give me Crazed Alchemist? You need to have two mana left over. Why? It didn't give me only full mana things. It gave me things that cost more, less than full mana. Um, I don't know if that makes sense to me. If that gives me two more freaking uh, <laughs> Doomsayers, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> like, like, I better not get two more Doomsayers off of this. All right, all right. Um, all right. That's actually, he got zero attacks. That's perfect. That's perfect. Um, okay. I really like that we got the Soul of Forest, actually. It's a pretty sweet play. Because now, not only do we have a board, but we have a really resilient board, right? Like... We got a five two twos hiding behind this. It worked out really well. Siphon Soul would have been better. Yeah, that was like a terrible series of picks. There were like ten things there I feel like would have been better picks. Cabal the Doomsayer than Conjures. No, I like the Soul of the Forest. I think this was the right move. The Conjures is still pretty low risk to give our opponent stuff, thankfully. And uh, this gives us some board immunity anyway. Just for later down the road if we need it. That's the first big Zephyrus whiff we've had. The first big Zephyr Swift. Again, it worked out. I mean, at the end of the day, we're fine. It's, you know, we're not losing our mind or anything here, but just not the high roll we were looking for. I think here we just chill, right? We've got too many cards as it is. Maybe I play Zilliax for fun. Yep. Okay. Not a Flame Ward. It was, we knew it was the one in his deck. We suspected it was going to be a uh, barrier. Okay. <laughs> not puzzle boxing, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so yeah, that Zephyrus could have given us a silence, like you know, spell breaker.
because it had four mana options it had six mana options um we we could have tried to manipulate it down to two mana for the alchemist but i i figured it just if that was the best thing right and it, it it obviously was thinking about our board being dead because it gave me soul of the forest right like it, it, it was like oh there's a doomsayer he might lose his board right god a lot of blizzards and frost novas right now man Jeez, he's obviously not a Reno list, by the way. Double Blizzard, first first double you've seen. Zephyrus knew you'd be okay without him, and he wanted to challenge your gameplay. No joke, man. Building a budget version of the stack, can you suggest replacements for Zephyrus, Luna, Luna's Pocket Galaxy, <laughs> Zilliax, Reno, Siamat, Malakras, Alex Raza, Caligos, and Feora? Moldy Tangerine, that has, has absolutely got to be a meme. I refuse to believe anything else. If that's not a meme, you are a madman. Obviously, you can't replace all those cards if that is not apparent to you. Um, he's like flame strike territory of killing me now, so I, I feel like I actually need to to uh, create some threats here with our conjurers, perhaps. Um, this could also be a flame ward, so let's test that. Okay, maximize the health gain on these boys. All right, let's... Uh, Let's just pop these back up here. Does he have another Frost Nova Doomsayer? He honestly could, right? Because we we can Reno that, though, too. Did we have Reno last time he played the Doomsayer? Why didn't I just Reno? Maybe because I just thought Zephyrus was going to be better. I'm going to save this Conjurers. I don't think we need to use this one. We uh, are not burning a card now, so should be okay. Budget legendary deck, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just can't play this list on a budget in case you are being serious. It's just not possible. You have to have these big threats to make it worth it. Too many of these cards are fundamental to the deck, particularly Luna's Pocket Galaxy. It's just way too good. Um, I've tried Zephyrus and Murloc Paladin. I found it extremely underwhelming. Yeah, I can imagine. There's the flame strike. Okay. This sets up the Alex Lethal, it looks like. Or does it actually? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. And this is why you have Alex, right? Like, it doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. Cool. Excellent. That's a perfect game, man. Finally got a good ending on this game.